deep nightmare though. Um, bad dreams every turn, and I always like drain punch because you can drain punch and heal too. Yep. And then you can use dream eater. Yep. But they have to be asleep. Oh yeah, I, that's what I always said. I was like, dude, this is. Well, we didn't. The only one, we we didn't. I think the only Pokemon that kind of. That kind of what? That kind of put me in a challenge was going up against uh, Dark Ride was yeah. Dark Ride was hard to beat. Like yeah, but the games don't actually have Dark Ride to beat. What? The old games don't have Dark Ride to beat on it. No, I'm talking about I'm talking about when I battle other players. Right. They, they, no, one guy eventually picked up how to do it. It's not hard. There's a there's an, an ability called Insomnia, which means it can't fall asleep. And he used a Noctowl on me, so I would try to do my bad dream, my uh, Dark Void, and that didn't work. I was like, okay, I'll have to beat you down with Drain Punch, I guess. That's why I don't really like putting in too many moves, because I... I used to do that, and then when I got better, I and eventually switched up my moves to like, like dark. It was like dark void, drain punch, ice beam, and something else. Dark void was another good move. Dark void puts him to sleep. That's the point. That's what makes him good. <laughs> I like Jiraxi at times. Yeah. Uh, Rayquaza was another good one. Mm -hmm. And, like, on the video games and stuff, I can move Pokemon from Generation 3 at least to Generation 5. So, like, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby Sapphire, Emerald, XD Coliseum, those can all trade with each other. And I can move them all the way up to Black and White, too. So right. that's what I do, because it took me forever to get a, a Game Boy, and then Luke find, found one for me last year. It's just, you know, you gotta have a TV and stuff for it, so. Now, I don't know about the new Legendary. I don't, I don't. necessarily either, besides, like, I know, like, up to Generation 6, I know a lot, but it's hit and miss with them from there. Now we're on Generation 9, so. And Luke's already beat the game. He beat Scarlet and Violet already. I'm like, okay. I haven't, I don't even have two badges yet, so. I'm taking my time. I'm doing all kinds of ideas for, like, the random number generation where we, um, different ideas and it'll pick a number for you and then that number determines like something that you do so i was doing like six random numbers between um one and 151 which is the first generation and i was going to make the teams of those and that type of stuff i got that idea that's really hard to do for Yu Gi Oh because there's like 10,000 cards and then what are you going to do do random number generation from between one and 10,000 okay you do that and then, where's your list of your 10,000 cards in order? And then you want to look up each card? No. <laughs> no, thank you. But there's got to be some way to... There's ways of doing it. Like, you could do out of the... Out of a structure deck, like, do 1 to 50. And then, like, say we get 3 of each card that you pick or whatever. So, like, if it's, like, the Yugi structure deck and you click a certain number, then you get, like, 3 Dark Magicians or whatever. Like, there's ways around this stuff. I find a way. I'm interested to see if this Max C gets reprinted in the uh, in the Trap Tricks deck because the Trap Tricks deck got announced. It showed everything in it pretty much, and it's got some interesting stuff. But um, yeah, I, I want it's getting reprinted in a structure deck as a good thing. I doubt that. Come on now, they're probably gonna end up taking it out for something, but it'd be nice if they reprinted it. And we need a delinquent duo reprint. But that's in the confiscation, in the 
sir, but... sir, I really, Luke and I have been talking about this for years, that they need to do, like, every card that's on the ban list, just make a set and reprint them all. Like, why not? Damn. Why not? Like, people would buy them. Collectors would. Uh, people would eat those up. Yeah, and then do, like, all the number cards and do, like, all the, like, anime and then, top cards. And then... What they do after the set gets released, all right, we're banning every legal card, and we're making those legal. Yeah, those are legal now. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you don't, I don't think you understand how boring that would get after a while. Like, I played that deck back in the day, and it was fun to do, and then after Magician of Faith came back, that, kind, that deck pretty much died, because Magician of Faith always was bringing back all your spell cards, and... You know, Pot of Green, Graceful Charity, Snatch Deal, Premature Bear, Monster Reborn, like all those cards. So, it basically is whoever takes out loses. Yeah, I mean, it could be, but I don't think you understand how many cards, like, they go hand in hand with each other and stuff, because that game would be very, very different than what we have legal. Well, there's over a thousand Pokemon now, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of them. There's, but they don't, have, they don't have the greatest Pokemon yet. And that's the, that's the thing. Mm. And I'm, I'm upset. But I'm, I'm upset about it. They don't have the taller boy. Mm. They should make the Pete Griffin. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, what's it? What's it name? Uh, Pete. Uh, uh, Peter. Uh, Peter Griffin. Yeah, Peter Griffin. Oh crap. <laughs> that taller boy. Hey, Tyler, what's your name? Or I'll be like, what's your name, son? Oh, oh, oh it's the Ty Larry. Don't you? Don't don't you? Oh crap! <laughs> actually, you you would actually do that as a meme. That could totally work for you. That'd work a lot better than any of us. What? Like, you have a name that actually would work for that meme. Like, you got, like, a doll. There's, like, a ton. Then there's ice. And then there's on. So there you go. <laughs> Paul's a weird name for a cat. It does happen sometimes. Pete, your Griffin. <sighs> okay. Did you see the one? I probably did. Uh, it was up to a certain point. They were like, where Adam West, like Stewie and Brian were on the set, and Adam West was walking across uh, the rope dressed as Batman. This I mean, is he how literally, we just... He literally was Batman, so... I know, that's ironic. He was walking across the little... on the ground, holding the rope. This is how we used to do it back in the day. Oh, I tell you what. <sighs> okay. It's, it's a shame that he passed. It's oh, I tell you what, how old was he? I don't think he was that old, was he? 60s, maybe? Something like that. 
Hmm, you never can tell when someone dies. <clears throat> yeah, they got them. There was, I know they did. There was, an, there was another person who died today, actually, that, I mean, a lot of them aren't really that real, you know, aren't real well-known names people don't hear about them, but I hear about people dying all the time. I'm like, yep, nothing new. Same numbers, same videos come out, spoke of the numbers. I expect don't it worry. every day. Don't, These don't people could have been dead. More sacrifices and Crowley will be back. These, <laughs> these dang uh, deaths and stuff—they could have happened decades ago. Who knows? I mean, it's, it's not real horror. They don't want to use their clones anymore. They're like, eh, let's just kill them off, and then we'll make money off their name. Like Michael Jackson. I remember when Michael Jackson supposedly died. They made so much money. They were just throwing everything down. Like, remaking, like, all his CDs, like, all that stuff. Like, yeah, they own the person, pretty much, from the time they join the system. It's like, yeah, they own you now. Good job, pal. Good decisions. Uh, I'm doing the first productive thing I've done since last night. I had a little break in between work, and I was trying to stay awake. That was fun. Yesterday, I was there like seven-ish, and then I had to be there till like eleven. I left early. I'm like, I'm not sticking around. There's nothing for me to do. Gosh, dang it! Hey, there, there's a thing called crucifix. Good gosh, sir! Did you watch that black guy that I sent you? I sent him to you several times. He's a black dude. He acts like Kaiba and whatnot. Like, he acts like Kaiba and Yugi Adore. And he's like, I summon the triple OG Tyrone and like the do the do rag of or it was it's just great. He's like, Oh, here comes the cancel culture card. And we've got the censorship card. And we've got the get a job card. And just great ones. And it's pretty it's pretty good. Like triple OG Tyrone is a six card, it's like the Exodia. It's pretty great. He's got like 10,000 attack or something like that. You don't want to mess with Triple OG I, Tyrone. Richard finally has his own cameo. <laughs> he was greased up deaf guy. Yeah, but he has, his, he has a new cameo too. Uh-huh. He, he's the Rooster Crowing. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <laughs> That's great. That's pretty good. That's, that's quite something there. Yeah, there's a lot of like cameo, like off characters and stuff like that. Oh, and we cast, we cast Peter and the chicken, the Peter and chicken fights, like all the different fights. That <laughs> Oh my gosh, it, uh, I told you sir, it never ends, it never can end. Hey, uh, this, this is me off. Yeah, hey, I got this bastard talking at me. Oh, hey, you know, I'm gonna pull over this guy's ass, I'm gonna beat this guy's ass. <laughs> good luck in your fight, good luck in yours. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Cause it's, that's, that's how that works, you know, if someone's beeping at you or whatever, you just get out of the car and start beating the shit out of each other. It's, it gets you real far in life, I tell you. I don't know the last time I didn't do that. Damn. Yeah, I didn't know Lucas Frazier was going to beat my ass so easily, though. I kind of enjoyed it, though, but we won't go into that. <clears throat> Okay. Productive oh. behavior. But yeah, just just give me a call tomorrow, cause like I I should be coming. I'll uh, probably be up at six or whenever you get off or whatever. I probably won't even be asleep until then. Okay. Cause I'll come straight from. I can't tell you what I'll be doing once the time you get here, but, I mean, I reckon I, I can at least try to make it up till you get here. Yeah. We, we should at least be here by 7 or so, I would hope. 
Well, I'll let you go then. Alright. Alright, bye then.